call your mortgage company, okay? And do this right now. Don't click off this video, but after this video, I'm gonna tell you what to say, okay? I'm gonna tell you what to say. After this video, then call them. Don't call them right now, okay? Okay, and this is something that I did not, I did not research on. This is not something I uh, heard someone talk about. This is something I actually done. It's an everyday thing. It's an everyday thing. It's an everyday thing when you let your nuts hang. Hey, what it do, everyday people, man? It's your boy PJ. Today we got another educational video for you guys, man. All right, so today I want to tell you guys some very useful information for any homeowners, okay? If you are a homeowner, I want you to take a listen to these ideas that I have for you that may help you out uh, in the future here to come. All right, so right now, due to the pandemic, of course, COVID-19 has tore everything down, okay? So the reason why COVID-19 is a great thing is because it has ruined the entire financial market. That's for businesses, family home structure, entrepreneurship. We have more people ready to up and quit their job right now because they can work on their own from home and make the same amount of money. A lot of people have figured that out. So right now for the home market, uh, interest rates are really, really low. So if you have decent credit still, and if you still own a home, right now will be a great time to refinance your home. Right now will be a great time to sell those extra vehicles you have because everything is up. Right now, I would not refinance a vehicle. There's a difference between refinancing a home and a vehicle, okay? A vehicle is short term, right? Uh, maybe you are, if you're refinancing, you've already had your vehicle for at least a year. You have maybe three to seven years left. Um, if you only had your car for one year, do not refinance. If you had it for four years and you want to save maybe 50 to a hundred dollars, refinance your car or, but if you want to just continue to pay it off, just pay it off, you know, that it, just keep paying it. So there's no actual reason to refinance a car because it's not going to save you anything. Okay. But what I want to tell you right now is refinancing your house right now while the market is in a disarray. Your interest rate can go from 6%, like 6.9% to 3 point whatever percent. Okay. Right now, if you act right now, call your mortgage company okay and do this right now don't click off this video but after this video i'm gonna tell you what to say okay i'm gonna tell you what to say after this video then call them don't call them right now okay if you took the one year you know deferred payments if you took that one year okay this is perfect for you okay if you took that one year if you did not take that one year this is still good for you what it do everyday people man it's your boy pj man are you in the middle of the game and your wife is nagging you about that property you still ain't sold give me a call at 405-759-0038 and let me get rid of that property for you no hassle get rid of it cash up front give me a call 405-759-0038 Three, eight, and let me get that property sold for you so you can get back to the game. If you didn't pay for a year, now you have to pay. So it's time to contact your mortgage lender, okay? Once you contact your mortgage lender, you're going to want to say, hey, I need to talk about repayment options. Talk to strictly the person about repayment options, okay? When you talk to the person about repayment options, they're going to ask you a series of questions. Did your job change? Uh, did your life change? Like, do you have any significant life changes? Like, I'm pretty sure they're talking about the COVID experience. Like, did you lose your job? Yes, you know what I'm saying? Or no, or indifferent, whatever. You created more opportunity. Then what they're gonna ask you is for your income, okay? 
They're not going to ask for verified income. They're just going to ask for your income. Now, how much money did you actually make over this pandemic? Okay. I want to say be realistic. Okay. Give them a realistic value. Don't upshoot. Okay. The reason why you don't want to upshoot is because guess what? The people with the most money don't get the most benefits. And that's just a fact on life. Okay. So you want to say what it is you were making pre pandemic. Don't, don't, don't say you rich now. Motherfuckers still act broke. Once you talk to them about uh, your wages and then uh, what they're going to do is run your credit right then. And I hope to God you have made your credit better over this pandemic. Okay. If you didn't make your credit better, you missed a great opportunity. Okay. Once they run your credit, you will take a hard hit on your credit. All right. And um, then, you know, just build it back up. But you'll save 3% right now. If you act right now, don't waste time. If you own a home and you opted in to the mortgage deferment program, okay? Refinance your home right now if you have good credit. I don't know what it's gonna look like for you people with bad credit. I'm gonna just be honest. But I have actual proof that I've saved $200 on my mortgage, okay? So uh, good things is I've saved $200 on my mortgage. My next payment is due in November, okay? And this is something that I did not, I did not research on. This is not something I uh, heard someone talk about. This is something I actually done, okay? I actually saved $200 on my mortgage. My next payment is due November 1st. You know, so I got a month off. Um, and that's it, you know? Oh, my credit took a 101 hit, okay? I was actually devastated. But then I thought about it. All my bills is paid. So in three short months, I'll get those 100 points back. But right now, I can't get a new car, which I don't care. You know, I, I don't want nobody to run my credit for anything, so just do it. Save your ass $200. Instantly save another mortgage payment for the October payment. That's already. So you, instantly you saving at least $1,200, okay? Save an instant $1,200 being a homeowner. All right. There we go. Save an instant $1,200 as a homeowner. All right. That's my advice. I just want to get, get that out and make sure that y'all like, comment, and subscribe and watch every video. Like this video. Share it out to your friends who own a home and have them subscribe for more information. All right, everyday people. Thank y'all for watching. Holla at your peace. Uh -huh.